Let's bring in Joe Concha, Fox News contributor. Joe, look, stupid comment for sure. Pretty sure the phrase master race yeah. was in the thesis statement for Mein Kampf. But don't calls yeah. for her to be fired really play right into the cancel culture insanity? Boy, there's... There's a tough, that's a very good question, Todd, I gotta say. You gotta know where the line is, right? I, I personally think that a two week suspension is appropriate here. That doesn't cancel Whoopi Goldberg outright, but you know, there was far too much backlash from so many different people and entities and from within ABC, like Brooke just reported, that the network had to do something, right? So words have consequences and apologies are fine, but with apologies, accountability is ultimately what matters. And, and now we've seen suspensions uh, lead to outright fire firings in the past, all right? Don't get me wrong. Uh, Brooke mentioned Sharon Osbourne. CBS originally sidelined her and then let her go permanently, all for the crime of, remember, she defended Piers Morgan's right to free speech and defending, you know, his rather benign comments about Meghan Markle at the time. And CBS said, all right, that, that's enough of you. Uh, but I don't think that happens here uh, because there's a business aspect to this. Whoopi Goldberg signed a new contract with ABC in September, four-year deal. That's a long time in this business, uh, particularly for somebody uh, in her 60s like Whoopi. And that likely goes into the seven-figure category from a money perspective. So I think Whoopi probably ultimately survives here because of the business aspect and because she's on what's deemed to be the approved team, right, the party that she supports. So two weeks, let her think about it. Let viewers know, advertisers know, probably more important that they're taking this seriously. But I think probably she comes back. You know, and you said something that made me think a different way than I've thought about this, because obviously I'm a conservative woman, and I don't want to play into the way that the left does, but at the same time, when you sure. have this false, with other topics, not this one, I want to make that clear, but when you have this false sense of outrage on all of these other situations that have prompted cancel culture, and then you have something like this yeah. that is said that is incredibly unnecessary and hurtful. It, it makes you have to go back to the drawing board, be like, this needs to be a case by case basis. So I agree with you on that. But I also agree with, um, you know, we can't we cannot um, go into that whole left wing cancel culture with every single thing. But this was completely outrageous and uncalled for. But now let's get to this uh, second topic. The New York Times sues State Department, the State Department, for the emails related to Hunter Biden and the Romanian embassy and whether the U.S. helped push his personal business interests. So I'm going to say this one thing and then I'm going to hand it off to you, Joe. Um, this okay. is not a good look for the State Department, and it just looks like they're helping cover up for them. I'd say Ashley's on a roll this morning, by the way, Todd. So, you know, I, I, I would back off in the final half hour. <laughs> sure. it, 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 you feel the momentum coming right now. Very, very great comments, and particularly on Whoopi, uh, Ashley. Uh, look, look, it looks like the media blackout on Hunter Biden. Hey, it's finally been lifted. Uh, he was the third rail of journalism, after all, right, guys? Uh, but now the White House uh, is doing everything to clamp down this story. Uh, the new lawsuit uh, shows the New York Times sued the State Department to obtain emails from Romanian embassy officials officials that were sent between 2015 2019 mentioning a number of international business figures all right and those international business figures include Hunter Biden and his former business associate you may remember him Tony Bobolinsky uh, that request was sent in December of 2021 okay so that's about a month month and a half ago but the team Biden informed the times that the soonest they could possibly turn over the information is April of 2023 wonder when that is oh right hmm. after the midterm election so they're really stalling here uh, and so we're going to have to see where this goes, but it's only going to get worse before it gets better for the president and his son, because if the New York Times is now involved, then everybody else will follow. Washington Post, CNN, pick your traditional news outlet here. And we know there's a lot of smoke here already, and yeah. you have to wonder where this is going to lead. But it, it, it can't be somewhere good, given everything we already know already. Read Miranda's Devine's book sometime, yeah, and you'll get a better point, idea about that. I think the folks at the Post are like, welcome to the party, New York Times. Joe Concha, always the life of any party. We appreciate your time, sir. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, sir.